Welcome to this tutorial for Cambridge IGCSE examinations in ICT. Today we are going to be continuing in this tutorial with Paper 2, Version 2.1 of the May-June 2011 examination papers. Continuing on from Database 2, today I would like to show you how to create labels from a query instead of creating a report. We're going to be looking at question 49 from the paper and we're going to be trying to figure out which parts of it should be in the query and which parts of it which would normally go into the report are going to go into our labels. So arrange in two columns, that's going to be the labels. Show only the records where the VIN begins with 37. So again we're searching the data to find results so that has to be a query. Show only the fields with the VIN model port, etc. So again, we'd normally do that in the report. So obviously we can also do that within the labels. Display the field name as well as the data type. That's going to be within the label. Include the heading, etc. will be in the label. And our name and sentence number, etc. will be in the label. You may remember this database from the previous video, Database 2. This is actually Database 3 now. So we're going to create the query first before we're able to produce the labels. So again, as before, we need to click on Create. And we find the Query Wizard. Again, we're going to use Simple Query Wizard and click OK. Again, as I said previously, make sure that it's based on the table. 99% of all queries will be based on a table. So we need to select the fields that we need. In this case, I would probably select them all. Once we've done that, click Next. As said previously, 99% of the time we only use the detail for IGCSE level. So click Next. And now we need to give the query a name. I normally like to call it Query and call it by the question number as well, just in case I need to go back and fix it at some stage. We click Finish. Now we have our query within the database. If we right click on the query and select Design View, we now have the Criteria option open where we can search and filter for the data that we require. The first thing we've got to do is select where VIN begins with 37. So if I just typed in 37 and click Run, there are no results. That's because there isn't a VIN number that is just 37. The question said it had to begin with 37. So let's go back into Design View. So we want to find all the numbers that begin with 37 and whatever numbers then follow. So we need to put in a star and the computer will say okay, that's a wild character so it's like 37 and whatever data follows. So if I click on run, we should find out that that has worked correctly. They're all 37 or start with 37 and there are 420 records. Next thing we need to do is find only the country that is Spain. So let's change it back to the design view and find the country and type in the word Spain. Again check to see by clicking the run button that the query or the search in the query the filters have actually worked. So they are all Spain and it's brought it down from 420 to 71 records. Finally we need to find all the power fields that are E. So again we change the view. In the power field we put an E, come out of that again and again finally check to make sure that the query has actually worked. Okay so we've got eight records as our result. That looks 
probably about right to put into a set of labels. To create the labels, again we need to select Create. And in the Report area, you'll find a little tab that says Labels, and that's the one that we want to select. First of all, I need to save the query before it let me do anything. Okay, this can be a bit difficult. So we know that it's got to be in two columns, and there are lots of twos and threes and ones, and you have to try and select the correct size of label. A little tip, the width of the page when it's in portrait view is 21 centimeters. So we don't want anything really over 200 millimeters in length or in this case if it's split into two if it's over 100 millimeters in length it's going to push um, the second label over onto a new page. So I'm going to go with 52 by 70. Again we don't want it too deep because again it might push some of the labels onto two pages maybe three pages and we don't want that if we can help it. So I'm going to select next this screen is all about just the size and the style. We can ignore that and select next again. And now we've got to put in our labels. Put the fields into the, the actual labels. So if I select VIN, now there are a few things that I'm missing here because there has to be a title going. And normally if you're putting in a title, you hit enter to try and push that VIN down, but it doesn't actually work in the labels. So you've got to be forward thinking and if you've got to put in a title well you've got to do that first and then start to put in the fields so that will have to go we'll have to delete that and we need to put in whatever the title is and the title is Okay, and just check to make sure that all your spellings are there. Enter again. And then we've got to put in the, the VIN field. But if we read the paper, or read the question paper more efficiently, it will say display the field name as well as the data. So we've actually got to write in the field name there. So VIN. I normally put a little colon in there just to separate it. And then add the field. And you see the field's got brackets on it, so that will distinguish it between the written text and model. Let me put in model. Enter again to get the next line. Port. And find port and add it in. Enter again to get the next line. And add in our distributor. Okay, and to finally finish then, we have got to put in our name, center number, and candidate number. You want to put commas in there or something to distinguish in that, go ahead. Okay, so we've done all that. And it says the page may look, if you see the sheet, it's supposed to have two, two columns of labels. And then we've got to save and print it. So click the next button. We're not required to sort the labels. Some On some questions you might, but in this case we don't have to. So click next. Again, this can be a bit like the query. I'm just going to call it labels 49, just in case I need to go back and fix it if I've done something wrong. And click on finish. So if we look at our labels, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we knew there were 8 records. And they're actually on another page. And that's not as tidy as we would like it. So if I click on close and just move up this white space 
and then go back into view that again and suddenly we find that they're all on one side they're not in two columns that's just the way access views it so we need to change that to print preview and when we scroll down we find that we have all eight on a single page I suppose one of the things that you might worry about is whether or not when you print it will the examiner or the invigilator that's handing out the sheets actually see your name and your details they should do but if you're a little bit worried about that and you'd rather put your name at the top or the bottom of a page one option to do is click on the close the print preview drag down the page footer and select the label tool to write in your candidate details this shouldn't have any effect on the labels at all so if we go back to print preview and if we scroll down you'll find that whatever you wrote in that box will be included on the bottom of the page we could also do that on the top this is the end of this tutorial I hope you found it helpful.